Hi, welcome to America's Violinist YouTube channel. I'm Jenny Oaks Baker and this is my third video blog. Today I'm going to be talking about how I met my husband. Um, it's actually a really beautiful story. I'm so grateful and I think God was definitely very involved. Um, I was 22 years old and I just had started, um, well I was at actually BYU Jerusalem Center over the summer after I graduated from the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia. I went to BYU Jerusalem for a summer and while I was there I learned that my mom, who was my very best friend in all the world, um, and very instrumental in my musical development, um, I found out that she had cancer and it was pretty traumatic of course and but I was in this land of miracles and I knew that God could heal my mother if it was his will. And so um, I immediately started praying that she would be healed. But she immediately started praying that I would find someone to marry before she died because um, I'm the youngest of six children. So she wanted to make sure that I was married before she died. So she started praying that I'd find someone to marry. And um, I got back from the Uri Jerusalem Center and a couple weeks later I left for to start my master's degree program at the Juilliard School in New York City and my very first Sunday at church in the singles congregation there um, I was handing out programs before the sacrament meeting and I was trying to pick which cute guy I was going to sit by which is handing out programs is a good scoping spot because you can see everyone that comes into the <laughs> into the chapel so I um, I was handing out programs but I spotted this really attractive guy that was already sitting down in one of the um, benches and so I was like I'm gonna go sit by him and our eyes kind of met and he came and actually got out of his seat to get a program which I thought was a good sign because guys once they're seated probably don't get up unless they have a reason to and so he came up and got a program and um, so I, just, I determined after I was done handing out programs to go sit by him so I did um, well actually on my way to sitting by him another guy went and sat in that spot and it was the last bench and Matt was sitting about halfway in on that bench and so in order to sit by Matt I had to climb over the guy and climb over Matt and sit by Matt which is not very subtle and I almost kind of chickened out but I was like you know what? I'm really not very subtle anyway so why start now so I sat by Matt and we started talking and he um, wanted to help me feel like he was from a really good Mormon family and we're both Mormon and just kind of wanted to allay any of the fears I might have and I didn't have any fears but he didn't know that <laughs> I guess I should have had fears I was new in New York City but I didn't anyway so he was allaying these supposed fears and so he was telling me kind of going through his Mormon pedigree and telling me his father had been a bishop and his father had been a stake president and in fact now he was a mission president which is in charge of all the missionaries in a certain region um, of the church and um, anyway, he looked very proud of himself and his Mormon pedigree. And I never do this, but I just said, well, my dad's an apostle. <laughs> Which, an apostle is one of the um, top general leaders of the Mormon church. So it kind of trumped his, his pedigree. <laughs> but the good thing was, most guys would have just kind of turned their tail and run. But Matt was like, cool, which one? So that's kind of how our relationship started. We kind of spar back and forth a bit. We're very passionate people. We're very driven and um, emotional. Matt's not as emotional as I am. He's not a, really an artist, but um, we get along really well. We're kind of yin and yang, and, um, but that's how it started. And what I think is most beautiful about that story is that day our family was fasting and praying for my mom's recovery. And um, she ended up dying later about, I don't know, nine months later. But um, the day that we fasted for her, her prayers were answered and I met the man that I was supposed to marry. And I'm really grateful to my mother, I'm grateful to God, I'm grateful to Matt for supporting me because I could not do what I do without his support. And um, so it's the greatest gift that my mom gave me. And I'm grateful. So that's how I met my husband. And I'm grateful we were married for eternity in the temple and grateful that we're sealed to our children and just so grateful for our faith and all the blessings it brings. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that story. I love telling it. Matt um, 
is a little embarrassed when I do, but he had the best intentions um, and wanted to just allay any of my fears, so sweet of him. Anyway, so thank you again for tuning in, and be sure to check out my social media links below, and we will see you next time.